Hi there and welcome to part 1 of this video series where I want to show you how you can install your own locally hosted language model and create your very own personal AI chatbot. My ambition is to finish this series off by having a completely locally run large language model and running AI agents that can help me analyze books, academic research papers, websites, YouTubes and more and create algorithmic trading strategies based on these sources. Now of course I will also test these out as well and maybe I will also create AI agents that can do this job for me too. I also realize that this is an ambitious goal and we'll have to see how far I can get. For now in this video I will install Olama, some current popular language models like DeepSeek and Quen and then use a user friendly UI front end called Misty. And I chose Misty because it also has a pretty easy interface and also a pretty simple rag pipeline so that we can build our own locally hosted knowledge base without having to retrain the model. Now beforehand, I am warning you that I'm not an expert in these fields, but I am willing to become one. So if you catch me by making a mistake, then please correct me in the comments. Or even better, if you have valuable information on how to make things even better, then add it to the comments as well. Anyway, let's continue creating the local infrastructure next. In this video I will show you how to install the following things on a local Windows 11 PC. In future videos I will concentrate on the REC pipeline to add our own knowledge base to this model and after that we will start creating actual training strategies. So in this video I will install the following software. First I will download and install Olama, then I will install a large language model like a DeepSeek and Quen, and then I will install Misty and point it to my locally hosted Olama server and the installed large language models. Again, all this will be done on a Windows 11 PC, but the websites provide enough information to install this also on a Mac or Linux as well. So in the end I think that everybody can do this. And I've also already talked about this way too long, so let's go and continue with the actual installation. To install Olama you should go to the website olama.com and in the center of the page you will see the download button. Your OS type should be recognized automatically, so you only have to click on the download button to download the software. Now after the download is finished, you can go to your downloads folder and install the software on your computer. Now that this software is installed, we can open a PowerShell window in my case and start using commands to see the Olama service running and install some language models. And these commands also depend on the OS you are using of course. In my case the first example here is the command to see if the Olama service is running on the computer. And the next command can be used to see on which port Olama is running. By default it should be 11434. And finally you can also use the task list command to see the running tasks. And now that we know that the service is running, we can now continue to download our first large language model. Let's go back to the Olama page again and click on the models link. On this page you can see all the available models you can download to your computer locally. This is a huge list of models that can be used for generic use, uh, but also some models have their own specific use case. For this video I will download the recently uploaded DeepSeek R1 model and QN. These are the model sizes you can download and they range from 1.5 billion parameters to 671 billion parameters. The amount of parameters also determines the size of the file you have to download. You have to take into consideration that the larger the amount of parameters the better the model will work, but also the better your computer will have to be to be able to run the model. Now for this demonstration I will download the smallest model here and if you scroll down this page you will see more information about this DeepSeek model. This here is the actual command you will have to use to download and run DeepSeek locally. The run command will pull the image and then run the model directly after downloading. So if I copy this command and then paste it into the PowerShell terminal and then press enter, Olama will start to download this model. After the download is finished, Olama will run the model automatically. And let me ask it a simple question to show you how fast it is with 1.5 billion parameters. And you see, it's uh, almost instantly. Now with the buy command you can exit Olama and return back to the PowerShell terminal. Now I will download the Quen model too, but this time I will pull the image manually and then start it manually too, so that you can see how this works. So let's go back to the models page and scroll down a little bit until we see Quen, and then click on that link. This time I will download the 7 billion parameter version for a change to see how well it performs on my PC. I'll open PowerShell again and then use the Olama pull command to download the model. 
and after it has been downloaded, I can use the run command to run this model. Let's also ask the same question here to see how quickly it responds. And you will see how fast it comes up with the answer. Now a tip here, if you want to know which size model you can run on your PC, then I'll recommend to start with the smallest model first, and then work your way up until the size that responds quickly enough to your likings, but also not too slow. If it's working way too slow, then you know it's time to size down a little bit to make it workable again. And this is also the time to take the next step, and that is to install a real chat GPT-like interface, so that you can interact with these models as if it was your own cloud service provider. Now for this video I will install Misty, but there are also many other packages you can install to get a web interface to Olama, like uh, LM Studio, OpenWebUI, Chatbox, Silly Tavern, Chatbox, Enchanted, and uh, probably much more that I'm not aware of. You can add your own preferred web interface in the comments section if you want it. But let's install Misty first. On the web page of Misty there is a very prominent download button. You should choose the correct OS version here first, and then the choice between the CPU version and the version that runs on a compatible GPU. After the download has been finished, you have to install it accordingly to your OS. Now, Misty and some other of these programs are able to run completely standalone, and they actually do not really need Olama to run these local large language models. But I'm thinking ahead and do not want to depend on a web interface or any other interface at a certain point in time. I actually want to create AI agents that only need to connect to the API of the Olama server. And for that I don't really need to use Misty uh, or LM Studio or any other human interface. But for the time being I will use this program and therefore have to connect it to the running Olama server on my PC. You can see here that the program can also connect to remote service providers like uh, OpenAI, Azure, Google, and uh, this is all nice to know for the future if we want to extend the functionalities of the program. But for now I will connect to my local Llama, and all other possibilities are outside of the scope of this video. So here I have to click on the Add Remote Provider and then select Olama Remote from the Providers list. Then you'll have to give this instance a name and then configure the service endpoint, uh, which is in this case our localhost on port 11434. Now select the models you want to use in Misty and click Add. And to finish the installation, we can now test it out if everything is working correctly. Let's again ask the question why the sky is blue, but before we press enter, in this field here we can also choose from which model we want to get our answer from. And you see again we get the answer, but this time in a cool web interface with loads of other possibilities. And by now you can conclude that you have installed your own very completely locally hosted private AI chatbot. And this will be the base on which I will add further knowledge and functionalities to make it a fully personalized AI powered algo trading strategy creation machine. I hope you liked this video and got everything working on your computer too. And if you want to see more of this then please let me know in the comments section. I am really excited to continue with creating my very first AI agent for algo trading and I hope that I am on the right path. For now this is the end of this video. Now please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And also remember that I have written a book about algo trading for beginners. So if you are just starting in this field, I think this will provide you with all the information to give you a perfect start. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.